Hey guys, uh, this is Sticker Mike from MikeStickers.com. I want to go over the Graftech CE7000-60, the 24-inch one. It only has two pinch rollers on it, okay? So the pinch rollers only go on the outside. I'm going over just the initial setup here for getting going on perforated cuts. This is how I do it. This is what I'm focusing on. This is what I'm trying to do a narrow focus uh, to show y'all how to do this exact task right here. Okay, it's not set up to teach y'all how to do anything else other than perforated cuts to make stickers. All right, so um, I have my sheet in here. Um, the pinch rollers need to be on the outside of the sheet. Okay, all the way on the, the, the well, the key th thing is it has to be on the outside of the crop marks. If it's on the inside of the crop marks, it's not going to cut your whole design. Um, it's only going to cut to where it hits a crop mark and then it's going to stop. So if your crop marks way over here When you set up the sheet and everything it's going to think that that's the edge of your paper So now that I have it set up, it doesn't matter where the head is on it or anything I have my pinch rollers on the outside clamp them down <clears throat> The sheet can be anywhere within this whole area as long as the pinch rollers the pinch rollers have to line up with the blue um, so I have one here on the blue and one here on the blue. Okay, so that'll work. I use this tape as a guide because my eyes can't see the little lines that are black on black over here. So I have it so I can see it better. And then on here, it gives you three options. And I press number three, which says sheet. I don't understand everything on this machine. I don't know what everything me, uh, does by any stretch of the imagination. I just know how to make it do what I need to do. So press three. It's going to find the edge of the paper, like however you, wherever you put the paper on here, it doesn't even matter. It's going to find the edge. It's pretty crazy. So it knows how big the sheet is now. It knows where the edges are. It's going to go right to that edge every time now. So in order to get this set up to actually cut, you need to move the paper into position where the, the blade itself, not the sensor, the blade itself is positioned right over that crop mark. So it moves fast and then you can do this whole thing where there's another button that says slow and then you hit the arrows to move it slowly. And then I need to move it back a little bit right there. So you see I have it positioned perfectly where that crop mark, and I mean it doesn't have to be in the exact position but it needs to be within that area, within that 90 degree angle crop mark. Now you got it where it needs to be and it's ready so you can go over to the screen and actually uh, uh, press the button on the computer to make it cut. I'm gonna go do that next. All right, one more thing. I think I forgot to mention the fact that uh, the crop marks I try to line up with, I try to line up in the middle of the channel. The channel that it cuts in for the perf cuts, I believe is right here. And that's where I line up. I try to line up somewhere along here so that it, you know, has basically a good straight starting point. Um, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do, just so you know. All right. All right, so this is the file I'm using right now. And as you notice, there's no image, it's just cut lines. And that's because I'm working around a problem that I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, I'm still new to all this software and everything. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on, but it's cutting in places sometimes where I don't actually see cut lines. So sometimes within the, the, the image itself, it's picking up, I guess it's picking up other colors that are cut lines that is telling it to cut that I don't realize I'm using so maybe it's from a certain color palette I'm using I'm not really sure but anyway so I removed the actual color image from the inside and I'm using only the cut lines now this is my own workaround just to get around it so with Corel Draw I'm doing everything within Corel Draw but then it links up I mean I'm printing from um, what is it called VersaWorks but I'm doing my my image setups and everything and and cutting and everything from Corel Draw. You go up to the tab up top here where it says launch. You drop that down um, and go down to where it says cut plot. And when you do the registration marks, you just hit the one that say registration marks and it adds that. You got to give it a second after you hit cut plot. It's going to open up another window, another screen. All right, so leave this open but minimize it, and then all right. You see there, it said that it's it's not set. It's only set up for single page cutting, and it gave me some error. It does that when the the size of the page isn't correct. So over here, you can see I'm I'm working with a 18 by 24 inch size page, 
but over here it's it's at 18 by 23 so I need to make that larger so it doesn't think that it's trying to go to a next page all right and then from there I'm going to make sure everything's set up the way that I want it and I have it centered and I have it facing the way it normally would be everything else on this screen is good I'm gonna go over to the next screen and I use condition 3 is how I have it set up my blade is sticking out about just a, a little bit less than the width of a credit card and I'm using a 60 degree blade guys don't use anything other than a 60 degree blade or this is not gonna work you're gonna have so much trouble it's just not gonna work um, and then registration marks on it check it turns this off whenever it gives you that warning about the the not being set up for multi-page cutting so you gotta make sure that gets turned on and then once you have that set up you're good to go um, you can hit send it's going to tell you to position it where it needs to be and i already did that at position within the crop marks then you hit okay and then you come over here and it starts doing its thing seems like my page is a little bit uh pushed up in the middle right now towards the back so i might not have gotten as flat as it needed to be but i think it'll be all right that's how you set it up to do the perf cuts um and these are my settings that i'm using right now I have it on the type of blade that I have, condition three. I'm, I have it set up to speed 20. Most people put it on speed 30, but I was having some issues right away and I wanted to eliminate that. So I thought the speed might help, but I think my issue was the cut line. I might try to speed it back up to 30 and see if I have an issues, any issues. And then my force is 32 and I, whatever the A2 means, I honestly, I forgot what that is. I think that that's the cut pattern that I'm using or something like that. Um, so that's my setup right now and it's, it's working good. I'll, I'll show you in a minute how they pop out. All right, so they're all done cutting. Let's see if I can just pop one out here. So they come, it comes out pretty easy with the way I have it set up right now. Just a little bit of pressure and it pops out but it still holds in place so it doesn't fall out while it's cutting works good <laughs> 